Hey, this is Pastor Jay Lee, and you're listening to the Daily Sabbath Podcast. Hey guys, it's Pastor Jay here. Just wanted to take a second to thank you for listening to the podcast. And I wanted to let you know there's two ways that you can help support us. The first way is by sending us any feedback that you have. We have a pod inbox set up where you can record a voice message for us, either on your phone or through your browser. And if you would just let us know, what have you been enjoying about the podcast? Or what are some suggestions that you have to make it better? Or even if you just have some questions about God, about Jesus, about the Bible, we would love to hear from you guys and have a conversation with you. The second way that you can support us is by buying me a cup of coffee. This work is basically being fueled by the Holy Spirit and Starbucks. And so if you look in the episode description, you'll find a link to our pod inbox if you want to leave us a message. And you'll also find a link if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee. And so with that being said, here's today's passage. The Temptation of Jesus, Part 3. Luke chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. Then the devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Finally, Satan attacked the pressure point of Jesus' pride. He whispers again to Jesus, Look, Jesus, we both know who you are. Why are you languishing in obscurity here by yourself in the desert? You're better than this. You're more important than this. Make a name for yourself, Jesus. Just take yourself to the top of the temple where everyone can see you and throw yourself down. God's not going to let you fall. You're too important. And everyone will see how special you are. Basically, Satan is saying, we both know you're Superman, Jesus, so why not show you can fly? He even quotes God's words back to Jesus to tempt him. See, the old bag of tricks. He's applying pressure to Jesus' ego now, his sense of self-importance. Make a name for yourself. You're better than this. You deserve more than this. You are a big deal. And you know, it was all true of Jesus. But Jesus did not regard himself as too important to serve. He humbled himself by taking on flesh and blood and becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. True greatness is to serve others. And Jesus willingly obeyed, even if it meant stepping down from his lofty position for us. And that is why he was able to overcome this temptation of pride. And so your reflection for today is this. Where are you being driven by ego and pride? Are you letting your sense of self-importance or desire to make a name for yourself become an attack vector for Satan in your life? Jesus says it is better to trust God and serve than exalt yourself and become your own false God. And we know that false gods always leave us disappointed in the end. For more Daily Sabbath content, please be sure to follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can also follow us on our Instagram account, Daily Sabbath.